There are two ways to buy Microsoft Office for your home computer. You can buy a subscription to Office 365 or you can buy Office 2016 as a one-off purchase. Which is best for you? Let's find out. If you want to open documents that people send to you, or you want to write your own letters and documents, Microsoft Word is probably the best solution out there. It's also essential these days to be able to open and create spreadsheets in Excel, and PowerPoint is a really popular way of making presentations for work and school. You can get Word, Excel and PowerPoint in a single package called Microsoft Office, which you can buy for £59.99 per year for an Office 365 subscription, or you can buy Office 2016 as a one-time purchase for £119.99. Now comparing these two choices, it looks like it would clearly make sense to buy Office 2016. If you were to pay the subscription of Office 365 for more than two years, you'd be paying more than Office 2016. So the question is, does Office 365 give you anything extra that makes it worth the money? And my answer is definitely yes, provided there'll be features you use. Firstly, Office 365 gives you one terabyte of OneDrive storage. For me, this is huge. OneDrive is a service that takes the files you keep on your computer and stores them securely online. If you ever find yourself without your computer, you can just log into the OneDrive website on any computer and get access to your files. You can even work on your documents. One terabyte is a really generous amount of storage. It's 1,000 gigabytes, which is more than you can store on most laptops. OneDrive is more cost effective than most other cloud storage providers and that's before you even take into account the fact that you're getting the Office apps with it. The next reason to choose Office 365 is the extra apps that you don't get with Office 2016. Outlook is a really popular email client and it also lets you manage your calendars and tasks. Publisher is a great desktop publishing app that lets you print off things to be printed like posters, newsletters or flyers. And Access is a really useful database program that lets you store and organise lots of data. So if you think you'll need Outlook, Publisher or Access, it's worth getting Office 365. If you bought these apps separately with Office 2016, you'd pay £109.99 for each of them. And one more reason to go for Office 365 is that you get the smartphone and tablet apps for free of Word, Excel and PowerPoint. It can actually be really useful if you're storing all of your files on OneDrive to just pull out your iPad or iPhone at any time and do some work. I mentioned that Office 365 Personal is £59.99 a year, but you can go up to the Office 365 Home, which is £79.99 a year. This lets you use Office on up to five computers, which is great if you have more than one computer, or if you want to give other people in the family a licence. Of course, the 365 subscription isn't for everybody. If you don't think you're going to use OneDrive and you've got no need for the extra apps or the mobile apps, then Office 2016 is the cheaper option. So if you're just looking to get the basic Office apps of Word, Excel and PowerPoint on one computer, then I would just go for Office 2016 for £119.99. But if you want to take advantage of that one terabyte of OneDrive storage, or you need extra apps such as Outlook, Access and Publisher, or if you need the mobile apps, go for Office 365 Personal for £59.99 a year. And if you want to use Office on multiple computers, or you want to give access to family members up to five users, then go for Office 365 Home for £79.99 a year. So hopefully that makes things clearer for you. Let me know in the comments below which version of Office you go for, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll see you next time.